here let us see what are cartesian coordinates of a point now again before we see that we obviously need to have the basic form of the cartesian coordinate axis or the plane ready so yeah here we have the two axes the x and the y axis both mutually perpendicular to each other so we have x dash o x and we have y dash o y and following the sign of conventions or the sign conventions we have here o x as positive and o y as positive again o x dash as negative o y dash as negative again now let me number them one two three four five six here it's again positive one two three four five and here it is negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative five and here as well negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative five now let us randomly consider a point say p now what are the cartesian coordinates of this point p now this is very simple now we just need to measure the horizontal distance of p from the y axis and then the vertical distance of p from the x axis so which is something like this so now since we already have a numbered axis here it is very easy to measure and so we can say that the horizontal distance of p from the y axis three units and this horizontal distance is called as abscissa so let us name this point as m and let us name this point as n so om is called as abscissa and on is called as the ordinate om or the abscissa here is three units and the ordinate or on here are four units therefore we can write that p is nothing but the coordinate points of the point p is 3 comma 4 and very importantly 3 and 4 cannot be interchanged as they are ordered pairs we can also say that the x-axis measurement of p is 3 and the y-axis measurement of p is 4 so the cartesian coordinates of the point p here is 3 comma 4 